Well, if it isn't just the most beautiful, perfect day outside, and you know what that means. Every single time without fail, it's a beautiful day outside, the sun is shining in my apartment, there's natural light everywhere, I am left feeling just inspired to clean my space and make it look nice. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Except for we're focusing on a different area of my apartment today that I don't usually touch on that much. And that is my clothing. My wardrobe and my clothes are in desperate need of a great declutter. I try to go through my clothes a few times a year and as we are transitioning into fall, I feel like I don't have enough space for all of my new fall clothes and I'm coming across a lot of articles of clothing that I just simply have not worn in like years and it's time for them to go. It is very hard for me to let go of things. I hold on to pieces of clothing, I get really nervous to let them go, especially if maybe someone else bought it for me. I feel bad getting rid of it. I put a lot of emotions into my clothes, but as Marie Kondo says, you gotta thank the clothes for being there for that time in your life and let it move on. So today we are going through my dressers and my closet to get rid of anything that I have not worn, I will not wear, and make room for all of my fall clothes. I'm a little nervous, but I, I think it'll. this is gonna be good for me. So I currently have a bag on the way from ThreadUp. I just learned this about them. I had no idea you could do this. You can request a bag from them, they'll send it to you, and you fill it with all of your clothes, and any ones they see of value or are from brands that they like, they'll sell for you, you get a commission of it, and then the rest of them, they will either donate or recycle. It's literally a win for everyone, because by sending my clothes in this bag, I can make a little bit of money, I can donate clothes, and I can recycle them without being wasteful. I feel like this is a great system they have set up. So my bag is coming in the mail, so I'm just gonna set all my clothes aside today, and when my bag comes, We'll pack it, send it off, and call it a day. Honestly, I don't really even care if I make a dollar from this. That would be a nice added bonus. I honestly don't even know where to start with this. I'm feeling a little stressed. Um, I've had a pile of clothes just sitting here for days, and it's it, I, need to, I need to do something with it. So I'm gonna start by making my bed, which I probably should have done hours ago today, and putting away this random ring light just to make some space. Maybe my bed could be a little working space. I love when you can see my disco ball. Okay, so I have lots of new clothes I've recently got. So I'm gonna just kind of put those on my bed. And I'm gonna kind of sort the new clothes that I've recently gotten. I guess I can sort the stuff that I pull out of my closet as well. Okay, even though I think it's gonna be a little ugly for a second, I think the best way to go about this closet clean out is to just take everything out of it. I don't even know what this is. Also, a lot of people like store their summer clothes or store their winter clothes and like switch it out. I don't do that. I had like a big purge in my apartment at the beginning of the year because I had to get it fumigated. And in that time, I got rid of so many things that every single piece of clothing I own fits either in my closet hanging up or folded up in a drawer. And I kind of want to keep it that way. I think it's better. I live in New York. There's not a ton of space in my next apartment I move into. I'm assuming there won't be a ton of space either. So I'm trying to keep a wardrobe that is not that giant. I mean, I do have a lot of clothes still, but I want to be able to fit it all in the space I have instead of storing it in containers. Cause that's when you start to forget you have things. And I can barely remember what I have with it all hanging up. I guess let's just start taking things out. Actually, I feel like this is not a good idea, the way I'm doing it. I take it all back. I have a lot of these like racks and stuff of clothes, like these collapsible hangers. So maybe I'll just go through one by one and we'll kind of talk about it. So let's, the ones that I just took out, let's do that first, I guess. So all of these singular hangers are leather items. I have these leather pants. I have two pairs of leather shorts and I wear these consistently. It's leather's lucky day, they can stay. This set I love, she can also stay because this is a very much summer thing, but I've worn this set multiple times this summer and I really love it. Now it's time for these like pants and skirts giant hangers. So starting with this one, 
to uncollapse it, I need to put it in the closet. Wow, do you like how I really thought through all the systems for this vlog? So I have these brown pants. These are my beloved brown Princess Polly trousers. I really love these. These get to stay. I'm gonna be super honest. I don't think I have worn these lighter ones like one time, but I bought them at the end of last season. So I'm gonna give them a chance. Next, I have this blue pants set. This is also a classic I've had for like two years. I really love it, love how it fits. This gets to stay. Unfortunately, I have the same set in black. Black doesn't get to stay. I recently learned this fact. This is the same exact set in the same exact size as that blue one that I love. But this one is super tight on me, doesn't quite fit. And I just learned that different washes of things can make the clothing fit differently. So I've recently found that black washed things fit a little tighter on me. As much as I want to wear this set in black, because I love it, I just know I'm never going to. So I think it's time for it to go. So this will be our first donate giveaway item. I'm so sorry, you've had your day. I wanted to love you, but I'm being realistic here. I don't know why my black skirt got in there, but we're keeping this. And lastly, we have this set. This is something that's kind of tough because I haven't worn this set in over a year. It's like a 70s type thing, but it's so niche that I kind of feel like if I were to ever be invited to like a 70s party or like needed a costume for something, I would maybe wear this. This is going in the maybe pile. This is, it's tough because I want to get rid of things that I haven't worn, but then like this is something that's like kind of specific. Like the last place I wore this was like a fun birthday party. All right, so I believe this is like skirts. Love this long skirt. Same with this, this long black skirt, super simple. Great for my wardrobe. Unfortunately, I think this has to go. Got it this summer for a trip. Um, never wore it on the trip and it's a little big, but it was a sale item so I couldn't return it. I literally paid like 10 bucks for this, but I just don't think it's gonna work out. I didn't wear it at all this summer. It's a little big on me and I never went to go grab it because I felt like it wasn't gonna fit me right. So I'm not gonna grab it next summer either. I love this skirt in the summer. I think it's cute, it's fun. We're keeping her. I got these shorts for a video I did last year where I was trying to find like dupe designer things on a budget. I have genuinely never worn these. And as cute as they are, I don't think they're in my style anymore. I am just never quite drawn to wear these. And I don't think I've ever actually worn them out once since I got them at the beginning of 2022. This skirt I thrifted last year and I never actually wore, but I think I'll wear it this year. It's like a winter white. I think this will be great for fall and winter. So we're gonna give this one a chance. These black pants are part of a set. I really like them. They have cutouts on the sides. Wore these once this summer. Also, I think I could wear them for fall, like if I wanted to go out in the fall and wanted something a little more fun, because they're pants. And my last victim. I think it's time for this to go. I love this skirt. I got it maybe five years ago. I don't know, I, I've worn it before, but I just feel like I'm never gonna go and grab this skirt particularly. I don't know, it makes me sad to part with it, but I didn't wear it at all last year or the year before. So I just don't see myself wearing it again this year. This one's tough. I might have to try this on again. I think I'm gonna make a try on pile that once I try it on, I'll make a final decision. All right, this is where things are kind of start to get weird. This mesh bodysuit. Haven't worn it in a year. I don't think I'm ever gonna actually wear it. I never have anything that I like to wear under it because it's completely see-through. I think I've kind of grown out of wearing something like this out. This bodysuit is a yes. It is super simple. It's a skims dupe from Amazon. I love it. This is my perfect, beautiful, lovely summer dress. I love this dress. I've had this for four or five years. This one I love and I wear a lot. I get a little hit or miss about it sometimes because I don't know, I don't know if the pattern's too crazy. I still wear this all the time, so I don't even know why I'm on the fence about it. We'll keep it. This top is cute. I wore it last year, didn't wear it this year. It's very short. As you can see, it's essentially a bra. Um, I don't really see myself wearing this ever again. It was fun while it lasted, but I think it's time to go. This brown corset top is a yes. I love it. Staple, wear it all the time. This white halter, I'm gonna keep, but it's on thin ice because I always wanna wear it, but I never do. But I mostly don't wear it because I'm scared I'll spill something on it, which is good that I keep buying so many white tops because I'm always scared of that. I feel like this angle is getting boring. I've been filming from this angle forever. Do I switch it up? This is a black top that ties in the front. It has seen better days, but I love this top. I have a strong emotional attachment to this top and it is one of my favorite going out tops to wear when it starts to get cooler outside because it's long sleeve, but it's breathable. So when you're inside, you're not hot. Ugh, I just love it. I can't get rid of it yet, but it is 
quite literally wearing thin. Next we have this little black dress from Amazon that I just bought, brand new, cute, love it. Gets to stay. This dress I recently just wore in Florida. This is a Shein dress. The thing is I only ever have bought things from Shein twice and they, both my purchases were in 2020. And I don't buy from them anymore. I'm sure this dress was like $5. But I will say one thing about me is almost every single thing I bought from Shein in those two purchases, I am still wearing to this day. Like I have made those things last. Like I do, this dress is still holding up years later and I do not know how. But every time I wear it, I just kind of feel bad about myself. Like I don't, it doesn't fit me how I want it to. Like I love the pattern and I love the color. I think I've gotten my use out of this and it's time for it to go. This dress is cute. It, it's a multi-purpose one and it's nice. It can stay. This dress, it's a navy blue dress. My classic dress I wore when I auditioned for things in college. Like I would call this my audition dress. And if you have ever done musical theater, you know, like 10 years ago, it was jewel tone dresses, heels, but like people, you don't audition in that anymore. Like that's not, unless I'm going in for like a 1930s musical, I'm not gonna wear this, but I don't really have anything like this. Yeah, I don't think I can let this one go. A few years ago, I was in this concert in the city and they were like, wear a solid navy blue dress and boom, here it is. Like, I feel like it's like a dress code for a lot of things. So I get nervous that I won't have something like this. I think I've just convinced myself to keep it. It just, it's such like a singer dress. I can't explain it. So she'll stay. Okay, things falling off of my shelves. This is a romper, long sleeve romper. Recently I've worn this, love it, gets to stay. Even though there is a hole in the back, which I need to sew. It's just like the littlest one. This is another favorite. It's just like a really long black dress. I think it's super cute. I got this this summer and I've never had like a long casual dress like this and I'm obsessed with it. This red dress, I wore it on New Year's two years ago, but I don't really have any like fancy-ish little dresses like this. This gets to say, if I don't wear it once within the next year, it'll go. But in my brain, I just haven't gone anywhere where I could wear this. Strapless black dress stays. Black satin dress, cute, I love. It's a little short, might need to wear it with tights, but I really like that one. I got this dress this summer, so this is definitely staying. I wore this white dress on my birthday last year. It's really cute and I really love it. I just don't really see myself wearing this anywhere again. See, this is what's wrong with cleaning out my closet. I keep thinking of like scenarios in my head where I could wear this. But like, when am I gonna be on a yacht party in the middle of the Hamptons? I need a fun white dress. I don't know, maybe I could be next year and then I'll be kicking myself for getting rid of this dress, I don't know. I don't own any other white dresses. So that's what makes me think maybe I should keep this. This black collared dress, it's going. It's inside out right now. Wore this a few times like two years ago. Every time I go to put this on, I'm like, I hate it. It's literally going. This is a short sleeve dress, I really like this. This is a definite keep. I don't really have anything like this, so I guess I'll keep it. This is also such like a fall winter, it's like a button up dress. I'll give it another chance this year. And I wore this on Christmas last year. So I'll keep this again this year in case I go to like a holiday party or something and I wanna wear a dress. Um, but if I don't wear it this year, then I'll get rid of it. Here's the thing. I have two different white shirts, both discolored, crappy. I think I gotta get rid of them. Um, I, would, I always wear these in the summer and I like throw them over bathing suits. I throw them over like a tank top and jean shorts. I just need to get new ones next year. These are both like $5 ones, probably from Shein. And they're just so discolored and gross. They gotta go. I have this linen one that I accidentally dried. <laughs> so it shrunk a little bit, but I think I'm still gonna keep this one because it's still good for the beach and stuff. Why am I all of a sudden falling apart? I keep putting too heavy of things on these collapsible hangers and then like I bend them. See how that's broken? Okay, well in my hand I have two corduroy jackets, keeping those. <sighs> so what do we have here? I have a pair of overalls. These were my mom's overalls and I'm just, I'm always keeping these because they were my mom's and if I ever need a pair of overalls, these, these are the ones. Oh my gosh, I bought this last year and I never wore it. It's this denim shirt, but like Winnie the Pooh is hand stitched and like embroidered on it. It's so cute. I have this like denim short sleeve jacket. I thrifted this like two years ago because the brand sells like $3,000 jackets. So I just felt like it was worth something and it was literally like $8 or something, but I've never worn it. So we're gonna put this in the maybe because it's fun. I just don't really know when I would wear this. And lastly, I have this Levi's jean jacket. This is a try on. I gotta try this on again with an outfit. I hate this jean jacket. I just feel like it doesn't fit right on me. I've never liked a blue denim jacket. I don't know why. I just, I feel like I need to find a different fit because I don't really like how this one fits on me. Feeling sick of explaining. I think I'm just gonna go through it 
silently until I get to something that interests me. Everything is cleaned out except for I just have some winter coats in there that I know that I want to keep so I'm not taking them out. Now I guess we just start hanging stuff back up. I, I have stuff in my drawers but I feel like it would probably be more beneficial to hang everything back up first and then go through the drawers. And then if there's anything in the drawers that I feel like should be hung up, if there's room for them, I'll hang them up. Okay. I guess I'm just going to take all of these out. Oops. Anything that's strictly summer, I think I'll put in the back corner of my closet. That's probably a good idea. I feel like these are pretty strictly summer dresses. some blazers even though I recently decided I'm not really a blazer girl but the, the blazers I decided to keep are this heavy plaid one like for winter this leather one and this cropped plaid one I was looking for this dress I don't even remember for what. Like months ago, I was looking for this dress and I thought it was gone. I just found it at the bottom of my closet. I bought this beautiful dress and I never had anywhere to wear it. I just found it in the bag that I bought it in. That's so sad. I really hope I still like it next year because I am obsessed with this, but I just feel like it's too late to wear it. I've recently gotten a handful of new tops. Okay, it's getting a little too dark in my apartment. Like I know if I start my dresser right now, it's gonna be super dark. I'm gonna turn on the lamps. I just heard a beep, but I don't know where it came from. So I think I'm gonna put a pause on it for today. So dark, but closet's getting there. I have all of my clothes I wanna give away um, and we'll pick it up tomorrow. Hello, um, it's a good amount of days later. I have just been putting off filming this video because as you can see, I like hate going through my clothes, but it's something that we have to do. So we're moving on to the dresser. I picked today to film because I thought it was gonna be brighter outside, but it's still pretty dark. 
It's been like the rainiest three weeks I've ever seen in New York City. It's terrible. Bennett's toys are right here, but I think for the time being, we're gonna move them so we can kind of use this as like a little working space. We got a lot of weird stuff going on right here, so I'm gonna kind of organize this uh, into like groupings and then we'll go from there. Kind of sorted these things into groupings. We're just gonna leave them out for now because we'll just throw them in when we go through that grouping. We're gonna start with this top drawer, which is my pants. We got a lot of stuff in here and a good amount of stuff that I definitely don't wear. So let's figure this out. Oh my gosh, it just keeps coming. I have lots of rando jeans. Some are just like old. So I think I just gotta cut down on some of them. I think these ones have to go. These are wide leg jeans. This is tough because I don't usually wear these, but once in a blue moon, I'll pull these out. But I actually just tried them on. I don't like them. Uh, I just feel like I could find better wide leg jeans. I just feel like these don't fit me as well as I want them to. So they're actually gone. Bennett is always dying to get into my drawers and I just accidentally left this bottom one open. Just hanging. These black jeans have to go. I totally forgot I even still had these. They're too short on me, they don't fit me right, and I just bought a new pair of black jeans. I got these literally like five years ago. So let's put these jeans in. I'm gonna keep the split hem jeans, cause that's fun. These are my Abercrombie jeans. They're like my staple jean that I wear. I also have a pair of ripped jeans that I wear a lot, um, but those are dirty, so they just aren't gonna be in the mix, but. I still have those. Um, and then my two new pairs of jeans I just bought at Old Navy. We have these dark wash ones because I literally don't own any dark wash and I feel like you need that for fall. And then my new black jeans. That's good for my jeans. <laughs> these pants, yikes. I think I'm done with the fun pattern pants. This was such like a 2020 thing, but like I never gravitate toward these. I just, I, I don't, I think they're a little young for me now as I'm like getting older. I bought these when I was 22. Same with these green pants. Also, I'm pretty sure they're a little big on me and long on me, so like I'm never gonna wear them anyways. So, they gotta go. Those were such like 2020 purchases. And then also I have these white Lee jeans. They're from H&M, but they're like with Lee. I'm just never gonna wear white pants like this. I wore them one time two years ago, haven't worn them since. So they also have to go. These cargo pants can stay because I recently bought these and I haven't worn them yet. I just feel like it was one of those things that I bought at the end of spring and then it was just kind of too hot. And then these are just like brown corduroy pants. These get to stay as well because I feel like that's good for fall and winter. So now these pants. I was obsessed with these pants. They're all from Princess Polly. Obsessed with these a few years ago. I like them. I kind of feel like I don't need all three anymore. Like I have them in green, in orange, and in black. I think the orange gets to stay because these are like my favorite ones. Kind of want to get rid of the green. I only have ever worn them like twice. Yeah, we're getting rid of the green. Uh, these I'll keep for now. I'm not really sure. I'm feeling in between about the black ones, but I feel like they're more of like a neutral type thing. So we'll keep them. So now the rest are sweatpants. To be honest, I need new pants. Like these Adidas joggers I've had for probably like six years. I hate how they fit. I never wanna work out in them cause they like fit kinda tight and weird. I'm never gonna dance in them. They gotta go, they gotta go. Same with like these joggers. They're just like poorly, I just need better crafted sweatpants. Like I, I hate, all of these are so old. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these cause I always forget I even have them. Wow, I'm getting rid of all of my pants. We'll keep these for now, but these have shrunk. They're too short but like I throw these on if I'm gonna go grab coffee or something. I'll keep these while I'm in between finding pants, um, but I wanna find more sweatpants. I also have gray sweatpants, but I don't know where those are. Maybe they're dirty right now. I, I kinda need new sweatpants in general. And then last are these black pants. Um, I like these. They're just like black flowy pants. They can be worn like casually or not casually. <laughs> okay, I've cleared up so much room in my pants drawer. Like, I have a whole space back here. Oh, it's like so dark, you can barely see, but I have a whole space back here. And honestly, I could fit another pair back here too. So pants drawer is all set. Moving on to this next drawer, this is a really scary drawer. I do not know what's going on right here. 
There's so many random things in it. I don't even know. This is like my drawer where I just kind of put everything I didn't really know where to put. I think my sweaters are in here. I don't, I literally don't know guys. This is bad. So I threw some sweatshirts in here. This is a brand new sweatshirt that I just got from Aritzia. So cute. So any sweatshirts, I'm just gonna kind of throw to the side because we're gonna try to consolidate those. Oh, I have so many sweatshirts. Why do I have so many? This ACDC one we're getting rid of. It's run its course. I'm done with it. I don't even like ACDC that much. So sweaters, I'll kind of put in a pile right here. This could be hung up. This is a bodysuit. And then this is like a summery, springy like piece. I don't know how this got in my drawer. This needs to be hung up with all my summer stuff. This is a plaid skirt and top that I got a few weeks ago. This skirt can be hung up as well. And then the top can go with my top. So we'll just keep it to the side for now. And this is Bennett. <laughs> Do you want to be sorted into a drawer? Probably not. Come on, get down. Let's start with these sweaters because Okay, this little H&M cardigan is, has seen better days. She's wrinkled, she is discolored. I think it's time for her to go. I just got this sweater last year, it's from Express. I feel like this is a fine basic sweater for fall and winter. My friend Emily taught me the Marie Kondo folding method, but I'm very bad at it. Like I can't really remember how it, it happens and then I never keep it like that. Like, is this how you do it? It's like a ball, I feel like that's right. This brown sweater, this is just like a classic. This is just what I throw on and I literally don't know what to wear. Um, from H&M, it's cute. I've had it for a few years. Honestly, in a perfect world, I would hang out my sweaters, but I can't because I just don't have room in my closet. Okay, this brown sweater is cute. It's like a turtleneck. It's very Thanksgiving. Actually, I'm pretty sure I wore this on Thanksgiving. I really think I'm making up my own folding pattern right now. Like, this can't be right. I think I'm not gonna keep this cardigan. I've had it for a few years, I've worn it a few times, but I just never gravitate toward it. This green sweater I love, got this last year. I kinda wanna buy it in more colors. Um, it's like a big turtleneck, so this will be more for like around Christmas time. And then this is just like a basic like beige-ish white sweater. I like this one. This blue cardigan I do wear sometimes, so I'll keep this one. I did buy this, like, I think I bought this in 2020. I'm pretty sure I bought this sweater the same day I bought my first camera to start my YouTube channel. And then this is just a white turtleneck. Just kind of seen better days, but it's good for layering, so we'll keep it. It's also folded really nice and flat right now, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Now for my long sleeve shirts. I have this NYX shirt, love it. That's what I wear to the next games whenever I go. It's kind of wrinkly. I also have this long sleeve Georgia top that I usually keep with my t-shirts, but I'll put this with my long sleeve shirts too. I keep saying I want more long sleeve shirts that are just like t-shirty type casual that I can wear like dance class or just wear out. If I'm like going to the grocery store or something, I don't really have any. This is my favorite turtleneck of all time. I got it from Forever 21 in like 2016. And it is just so good for layering because it's three quarter sleeves, but it's a nice like turtleneck. Like it's a little more than a mock neck. Um, I just, I cannot part with it. It is so good for layering. Well, I have this turtleneck that says 100%. I never really would be inclined to wear it with the 100% on it, but I also like it for layering. So we're gonna keep this. And then if I get a new one to replace it, we might ditch it. Next, we just have this plain black long sleeve. It's a crop top. It actually, I got it to go with those pants that I showed in this drawer, those black flowy pants. Um, I really like this top. It's super good to just throw on, especially like if I wanna go out to a bar or something when it's kind of colder out. It's like a nice long sleeve to wear. And this white turtleneck. It's getting a little dingy. I've had it for like two years, but it's also good for layering, so I'll keep it. Yeah, maybe I should look into new like layering pieces because all of these are so old. Like I cannot believe that one top is like seven or eight years old and I've still been wearing it, but. I don't know, if you find something that's good that works, you, you might as well keep it. Um, this top I just never want to part with. I never know where to wear it, but it's a cat in a martini glass and my dad got it for me. Um, and I feel like maybe this year will be the year I'll wear it out somewhere. This is fully a t-shirt dress. How did this get in this drawer? I need to hang this up. This drawer is looking a lot better. It's like 
so much emptier now. Potentially we could use it for some sweatshirts, but I'm hoping to limit my amount of sweatshirts that I have. So let's actually, oh, wait, I totally forgot about these sweaters actually. So I got this new sweater, it's like a quarter zip. Um, and then I have this ugly Christmas sweater that I need to put in there. Found some stuff that fell on the ground. I also have this navy blue turtleneck for layering. Then I have these two jackets. I just feel like I have a better drawer I can put them in. We're just gonna leave them out for now. These sweatshirts go crazy. And I am always in a different sweatshirt. Sometimes in a vlog, I feel like you'll see me change sweatshirts like three or four times. Let's go through and look. So many sweatshirts. This is the Gap sweatshirt. This was one of the thrifting finds that we had when I ran my Instagram thrift store like three years ago that we never sold, that I just kept. But I've never really worn it, so it's time to go. This brown sweatshirt I liked, had for a while. It's nice, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I have this new brown sweatshirt that I think I like more. It does say Nevada, which is kind of random. I don't, see, this is where it's hard. This also has a stain on it. Like it's had a grease stain on it forever. I couldn't get it off. So I think it's gonna go. And I'm just gonna replace it with my new brown sweatshirt because I literally don't need to. This Ohio State hoodie I gotta keep. Big Ohio State fan. I think I'm gonna get rid of this beige hoodie. This beige one is kind of like wrinkly and thin. I feel like I could get something nicer and better. If you watch my vlog where I had a big discourse about my Minnesota State Fair sweatshirt, we're keeping it because it's cute, but <laughs> long story behind it. This, I think it's, it's time for it to go. I loved this sweater, but it's getting kind of old. I'm, I'm just done with it. I was on the dance team in college, division one. Division one athlete and this Nike sweatshirt is all I have to show for it. Um, so I gotta keep it. It's like the nicest sweatshirt I own because it's fully Nike. This black hoodie from Abercrombie I'm keeping. This Ohio State sweatshirt you saw me wearing in the beginning of this video I'm keeping. My brand new Princess Polly sweatshirt that I'm obsessed with I'm keeping. This NYC Athletics Club sweatshirt I wear all the time. I've had it for like three years. I'm obsessed with it. Um, it definitely is getting kind of like stretched out and worn out, but it's like my safety comfort sweatshirt, so it has to stay. And this one's on thin ice, but we're gonna keep it. This beige, sportive, and Relax Co. sweatshirt. So fun fact if you didn't know, my favorite musical of all time is Crazy For You. It's um, a Gershwin musical. I did it in high school, <laughs> and so it's just my favorite show of all time. I love the Gershwins, they're my favorite composers of all time. Um, and I got this signed sweatshirt by Susan Stroman, who was the choreographer of Crazy For You. She's like my idol, I could go on and on about her. She was the first woman to ever win two Tonys in one night. She's an icon, she's a legend, she is the moment. And I wore this all throughout college. I wore it everywhere, but her signature is kind of fading on it. So I think I'm just gonna maybe keep this like for safekeeping, like not in my sweatshirt drawer. Cause I don't think I'm really gonna wear this much anymore. It's like special, you know? All right. Oh no, I found more. I found more, I forgot. We have this V-neck one. And then we have this light blue one. Now I am wearing two. These are like very different vibes though, these sweatshirts. So we'll keep both. So let's see if we can fit all of these into this drawer. much better and I think they pretty much all fit in there. Uh next top drawer is my underwear and socks. We're not we're not touching those together. That that can be a personal project for me. Next we have all of these rando shirts and tank tops and stuff. So we have to divide these up between t-shirts and tank tops and nice tops. <laughs> I have a lot of crappy tops, right? Like tops like this. I got this like three years ago. I have no business wearing it anymore. I think it's time to see some of these go. Also this one can go, this one can go. I think this top has to go. It's like barely even a top. I didn't wear it all year this year because everyone was like, what is that? And I was like, you're right. You're so right. Maybe, maybe this isn't the move. Maybe this isn't the move anymore as a shirt. Like when you're in a beach town, it's like okay, but at that point, like you're wearing a bathing suit. So it's time for her to go. 
Let's do it. So I have a ton of random t-shirts. I did an event with Image Skincare. They gave me this white t-shirt. For the most part, I actually don't really have that many t-shirts, so none of them are really gonna have to like go. My mom and I got these from Amanda Klutz's website. I literally never wear this, but I just feel too bad letting it go because it was for like such a good cause. So I guess I'm just gonna keep it. That's the thing. Like I have such a hard time parting with things if like I got them for a good reason or if it was from like a sentimental part of my life. This random Fresno State Bulldog shirt, I gotta keep. I feel like I have a very niche community that lives in Fresno. And if you're one of those people, a lot of people always comment, they're like Fresno State, like that's so random. It is. I have family that lives in Fresno. Like I think my great aunt lives in Fresno. Um, and so my grandparents, when I was doing the thrifting store, they kept sending me a ton of random shirts and stuff. And they were like, oh, if you wanna like sell these on your thrifting Instagram, like it was all their old like t-shirts and stuff like that. And I kept this one cause I was like, this is kind of cute. Um, so I do have ties to Fresno. I don't know if I've ever been there. I might've when I was like really little. My big orange Playboy t-shirt. I love this. I like to dance in this. I'll just like throw it on. I have like never worn this Winnie the Pooh shirt, but I just love Winnie the Pooh. I just feel like I gotta keep it. I went to see the Winnie the Pooh show off Broadway last year and I bought it there. My Cincinnati shirt. Uh, my friend group and I made this shirt. It says Ireland and all of our faces are on it. Um, <laughs> we made it for St. Patrick's Day this year. And I just feel like this is a topical shirt that I'm gonna need. We're gonna wear it some more times. This is my Rangers shirt. I usually use this shirt to just sleep in. I've never actually worn it to a Rangers game because it's kind of big. My friend Bailey just gave it to me because she had a ton of extras. My friend Bailey, my friend Maggie and I all have this shirt. And this is like the classic sleeping shirt. Like someone sleeps over at your apartment, you give them this shirt. These shirts are good, so let's put these away. Next, my only two full-size tank tops are this Hawaii one that says like Aloha that my mom got me in Hawaii. And just like this black Nike tank. I don't really wear that many like full-length tank tops like that but I like to have some on hand in case I ever want to. This little crop top that I wear sometimes. This one with like string straps. Oh, hey Bennett. This is just like a black longer crop top. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you can, you can hang right there. I'm not using the space or anything. This is kind of a discolored top for Mary, but I like it. So until I find something that replaces it, like I should get a new one, I'm gonna keep it because I do wear it. These were popular in like 2021 on Amazon. I bought them in like every color. You just snagged it. So I have it in black, blue, and in <laughs> pink. Is this video boring? I feel like we're literally just in the same spot doing the same stuff. But I feel like this is a good, like you should turn this on while you go through your clothes. It's like we're chatting. I probably should have prefaced the video with that. Um, these are just two little bandeau tops that I just wear like around sometimes. I think this top has to go. It's from Pavletics. It's a halter top. I just feel like I look terrible in it. Love this top from Aritzia. This halter top can stay. This top, I kind of sleep in it sometimes. I feel like it's not the most comfortable top to sleep in. I don't know. Every once in a while I do. And then my little Oshkosh top that the last time I wore in my vlog, everyone did inform me it is a little kid's store. So I'm definitely wearing like a child's shirt. All right, now I have this green top. This is a classic. I've had this for years. I love this top. This crochet top. I'm probably not gonna wear it till next summer now, but I really like this top too. This uh, like asymmetrical white top. And then this asymmetrical black top, which actually is a set. It goes with um, the pants that I hung up that like have like cutouts in the sides. And then I have like my nicer tops. So we have this one that is a set with that skirt that I showed I need to hang up. This is so fall. I love this top. I think this top it's time to go. I wore this to Gov Ball two years ago. It's very much like a festival top, but I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it again. This pink corset top, I love. This brown corset top, I love. I Corset tops are so like, basic i know it's like the trend of this year but i love them what can i say and then this like black lacy corset top which i think is fun even though i did dry it on accident and the straps got all twisted and weird um i have this brown high neck top i think is cute and then this blue top that matches the blue pants that i have hanging up and then lastly the sweater vests the thing is i don't know i feel like i'm phasing out of sweater vests but i'm not really ready to let go of them yet like i feel like they might not be my style anymore but i'm gonna keep them for now and we're gonna see how the fall goes because I, I need to give them a chance this is my grandpa's sweater vest um he gave it to me so i do love this one i think it's fun this checkered one i feel like was so popular in 2020 
I haven't parted with it yet, but it could be its final season. And then this green one, an oldie but a goodie. I've always liked this one. Shirts are done. All right, I have one more drawer left of this dresser, but what if I told you I am just the worst planner in the world? I have a rehearsal to go to right now, so I have to stop again, but this video, guys, this is bad. Actually, if you're watching this the day I upload this, this third upload a week, I'm working out the kinks of the scheduling, but <laughs> I have to go to rehearsal, so when I come back, it's probably gonna be kind of dark outside. Not that it's super bright out right now, but it's probably gonna be a little dark. Use this, if you're cleaning too, use this as your little snack break. Go get yourself a little drink and a little snack and we'll regroup and finish out the clean. But I'm feeling good about the decluttering. I have a giant pile of clothes right here that can be donated. And we're back with the last drawer. The sun hasn't set, but it's too dark to not have these lights on, you know? So we're gonna end the video feeling a little cozy, a little bit of a cozy vibe. All my clothes that I wanna donate are behind me. Let's do this last drawer, which consists of shorts and leggings. This drawer is the most confusing one of all because all of my leggings literally look like the same. So over here we have jean shorts. All of these are non-issue, they're fine. I have just a few standard pairs. Don't need these till next season. Now let's organize. Pretty much all of like my biker shorts like this are dirty because <laughs> I need to do my laundry and um, I've worn them all. So those aren't really gonna be in the mix. So I also have two workout skirts. I usually wear these like auditions. One's from Lulu and one's from Aritzia. So we'll put those away. I just have one pair of like regular athletic shorts. I kind of need more. I have these orange like biker shorts. I have an orange sports bra I wear a lot. I don't really wear the shorts, but I keep them because the reason I first got this was for a party where everyone dressed up as different colors. So they're good to have in case I ever need to whip out that costume again. And then I have my shorts that I wear under things. I have tan shorts and black shorts and Bennett. These are shorts I've had since high school, um, but they're just the best. The brand is Joe and Jack's, which is like a niche dancewear brand. I can't complain. Um, but I just have a feeling they don't make them like that anymore, you know? Uh, next I have my sweat shorts, which I, you know, this is like all I wear in my apartment when I'm just hanging out, not going anywhere. Like you'll never catch me just sitting in my apartment in jeans. Absolutely not. And now for the leggings. Even though they all look the same, I have very different reasons for all of my leggings. Like some I'll dance in, some I absolutely would never dance in, some I only go to the gym in. Some I do no physical activity in. Like these Wonder Under Lulu leggings. I remember all I wanted in life was a pair of Lulu leggings in college. Everyone had them, I didn't have any. And I finally got a pair. They're so thick, like they're great in the winter. Like if I'm just like going out and about and I wanna wear like a thick pair of leggings in the winter, these are great. I would never dance in these. I like to dance in the Align Lulu leggings. I literally only have two pairs. I honestly, my favorite leggings right now are from Airy. I really love airy leggings. I just think they fit really well. These have to go. I don't like it when they have like a thick waistband. These Adidas leggings are gym leggings. And then I keep my one pair of red leggings in case I ever need like a bright colored legging. I don't know if it's just because like I went to theater school or what and we always had like themed parties, but I just always fear that I'm gonna get rid of something that would be really good for me to wear to a themed party. It's crazy how much of a mess this drawer was. I felt like it was so full I could barely shut it and there's really not much in here at all. Ta-da! All right, and then my other drawer, like under my other window, the smaller one, that just consists of like bathing suits, sports bras, leotards, and shoes. The bottom two drawers are filled with shoes. Um, so that's a non-issue. Um, but I just wanted to make a little video, just me cleaning, going through stuff and if you decided to go through your wardrobe while I was, all the power to ya. If you're watching this not in October and you just like recently found my channel, this means nothing, but if you're watching kind of real time, I'm just trying to do some extra October uploads uh, that are more like productive on Sundays. This video is going out on a Sunday evening, late. I'm doing the best I can. So, so thanks for going through stuff with me and cleaning with me and organizing and hopefully maybe this left you feeling a little inspired, a little productive. Regardless, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.